Hi, I'm Harish and in this channel I talk about building anything without coding and recently I've been uh, playing around with a tool called Typeboard.io that lets you convert mundane forms into uh, interactive forms where filling up the forms is not boring anymore and this video is uh, a quick demo of how you can create a simple guessing bot where the bot will ask you a question and you will have to respond and the bot will also give you a clue if you would like and yes we'll use greetings API to be able to fetch a greeting and ask the user which language the greeting is from and if the user has a correct answer will show correct and if the user doesn't have a correct answer will show wrong right let's quickly jump into it and see how to build this bot right let us quickly watch a quick preview of what we are going to build for you to be able to understand this better and you can continue watching this video after this if you're interested this is what we'll build the bot will say hello and then also say a greeting and right? it says I'm going to show you a way to say hello and you have to guess the language. Are you ready to give this a shot? Yes, let's go. Let's try the bot out. And it says guess the language for that way of greeting or saying hello. Uh, give me a clue. Let's see what the clue is. This language is widely used in Europe. Uh, let's see. Okay, that's the wrong answer. But yes, you get the point. The bot will show you a way to say hello in a specific language and we'll have to guess which language it is from. If we want a clue, it will tell you where it is widely used, right? Obviously, I got it wrong, but don't judge me on that. Let's quickly jump into building this. All right, now that we are in the dashboard of the tool, you can see this is the bot that I showed you the preview just now. I didn't create the preview after creating the video. But yes, let's create a type bot and as you can see, uh, we had the bot give a welcome and then a set of instructions to us and then the actual greeting, right? So we'll start off with a text piece here. I'll put the text piece here. We'll call it welcome to guess the language bot. And you can always select the text and hi highlight it. I will call this to welcome prompt and the link this piece here, right? After this, we'll add another text element which will give us the instructions. Right, so I just copy paste the instructions that I already had written and then after this we'll ask the user if they are ready or not to give this a shot, right, which is a question and if the user responds with a specific answer, we'll go ahead and call the API. I'll just talk about the API in just a bit, but yes, again a text block and I'm saying are you ready to give this a shot and after this we are collecting user's input, right, so I'm going to pick the button element here and then put the button element here and the first option is going to be let's go and if the user clicks this, we will call the API. If the user doesn't click this, it's homework for you. You have to show the message or just a message to the user saying, sorry to see you go by or whatever. Right Now, if the user clicks this, we have to call an API. And for this, what we are going to do is use an API called greetingsapi.com. I'll give the link to the API in the description below. So you can check it out. Shout out to Amit Jotwani uh, who created this API. This is the URL. When you call this URL, you get a random greeting, right? A random greeting. And this is the way they greet in Bengali right and the locale is India where it is mostly used right so if you refresh this it will change to Dutch way of saying hello and it'll, if you refresh this it keeps changing right so this is the API call now we go back to our editor and now we have to call the webhook component or the integration from the left and I'm going to drop it here call this API call under the config what I'm going to do is just go here paste the webhook URL and click on advanced configuration now why do I do that to be able to store the response in variables so that I can show it to the user, right? I will show store the locale, I'll store the greeting, I'll store uh, the answer as well, and then show these and also validate if the user is saying the right answer or not, basically, right? So once you click on advanced, what you have to do is change this to get because this is get method, and then click on test request. What this will do is call the API once, and then you will get additional options uh, below here, right? This is the response from the API. And then you will have save in variables below, right? Once you click on that, you will be able to store the response from the API in different variables, right? Now, what are the variables that we will need, right? The first one that we will need is click on add an entry and then select the data. You can click here and then it will show the response values here itself directly. And I want to start off by storing the actual answer. So this is actual language. I'm going to store this in this variable. I'm, I'm going to click on add entry and I'll add the rest options as well, which is what the greeting is, which, uh, the clue basically where it is most predominantly used right so i'm going to do the locale first and 
and this is going to be stored as answer clue and then we want the answer itself right there is a lot of greeting and this will be the greeting which we will show in the question when it is prompted to the user right now we have stored what we need and I'm going to link this to this call and I'm now going to drag and drop the question sorry the text block right now if I drag and drop the text block what I'm going to do here is I'm going to say guess the language for curly braces will let you use the variables that you just created or you can always click on this piece and use the variables from here right I'm going to quickly see if these are stored yeah let's run another test just for the sake of it and see if you're able to. Yeah, I'm going to link this to the next group that we just created for and here I'm going to do greeting. Now the greeting will be shown here and then we'll now start showing the user two options. One is give me a clue and if the user already knows the answer, he can just say, I know the answer. Again, we'll click the buttons block and here we'll do give me a clue and the second button will be I know the answer. Now, if the user says give me a clue, we have to show him the clue him or her the clue and if the user says I know the answer we will let him or her type the answer right very simple very basic now for showing the clue let's just drag and drop the text piece from here I am going to rename this to show clue and here I am going to enter the text the language is more widely used in we have to print the locale where this is used right so this is going to be clue right now that will get printed if the user says give me a clue and then after that we'll have to wait for the user to answer right now for the user to answer we'll just get the input text block from here and we'll do users answer and after the user enters the answer we will store it in a variable right so i'm going to link this here and also i'm going to link this here so that when the user sees the clue he'll, he'll be prompted to enter the answer now the user enters the answer we should store it in user answer these are just variables that i commonly use you can always pick whatever you want to use as a variable and this uh, options by default are okay with me and now the next step is for us to check if the user's response matches with the actual greeting or not right for that what we will do is get the condition block from here and we'll do check if valid or not is my name to the block and i'm going to link this here and in the configure i'm going to add a comparison where i'm going to check if actual language is equal to the user's input which is user answer right that's it now i will let you to not make this video longer what i will let you do is add the other case where if the actual user is not equal to this you have to show the wrong answer which is obviously linking this to wrong but yeah if you have to check for all the possibilities so uh, we are going to do correct and uh, i'm just going to duplicate this and do wrong right so i'm going to link the correct answer if this is equal and if it is not equal i'm going to link it wrong that's it that's how you create the simple quiz app where the user is shown a prompt of saying uh, a greeting in a specific language and uh, they have to guess which language it is in let's quickly create preview click on preview and see how it works now as you can see the welcome messages are all shown by default are you ready let's go the button shows up once i do that the api call is happening once the api call is successful it will show me the prompt with the greeting and uh, i'm going to say english just for the sake of the demo right it is wrong obviously right now i can click on give me the clue to get a clue but yes that's how you build a block but uh, that gives a simple quiz to the user that is uh, trying it out and the way to expand this uh, bot is by creating points and storing points for the user and then probably creating like a small dashboard or sending this data using the webhook itself into a google sheet uh, check out my video on how to integrate data from I bought to Google Sheets so that you can store scores for each of these users. You can create a random user ID for every user or ask the users their email address and store their score against their email address and create like a public dashboard. The options are endless and you can always integrate the bot into any of the, these tools right? that you have. Hope you liked it. Uh, consider subscribing to the channel if you like the video and also drop a like to this video and uh, share it with uh, anybody who you know will benefit from this. See you in the next one. Peace.